right, Pink Breezes live. Live at eight o'clock. We are in this thing. And next time I'm gonna schedule, <laughs> I'm gonna schedule the live so that you all are aware of when I'm gonna start. Right now I'm just spreading some white on my canvas. Looks good. Okay, so let's get some colors going. I think I'm gonna use this vivid pink from Anita's acrylics. Let's see what else. I'm gonna use this dark plum as well. Let's see what else. Canary yellow, I've used that last time. So bright blue. And what I'm gonna do is use the string method technique. And I'm gonna do a couple of them at a time. And so I just got some yarn, regular yarn, and I just cut it up in pieces. And what I wanna do is put the paint right on top of the yarn. For those that don't know, I do have a YouTube channel. It's called Paint and Praise with Amber. Definitely want you to visit the page and, and follow and subscribe. Like my videos if you don't mind. I would really appreciate the support. The scripture that I've picked out for this particular process and painting is <laughs> um, Matthew 6 and 28. And so this is where um, Jesus is talking and he's talking about, you know, our dependence on God um, looking no from nowhere else but to, but to God. And he references and um, compares to um, as far as, you know, how flowers don't look for, yes, Matthew 6 and 28, how flowers don't look for um, additional food. God provides that. If they don't look for um, any rain and water, too, is already provided. So it reads, <clears throat> And why take ye thought of raiment? Consider the lilies in the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And basically, like I said, just in reference to they're not looking, they're not um, searching for any anyone or anything else to provide for them. They are, you know, in comparison to how we should be uh, looking to God for our, um, for our help and our support. So that's what I'm gonna paint, our lilies. And I'm gonna use the string method. So let's get started. What I've done was just put white down on the canvas, just plain white. And I've got some yarn. And so just putting paint on the yarn and we're gonna get this. You're gonna see exactly what I mean by using this technique. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna put the yarn down in a back and forth manner. And just kind of, what I'm gonna do is let it sit for a second. I'm actually gonna push it in to the canvas just so that it can all all the paint can get on there from the yarn. Okay. 
And so now that I have that, we're just gonna pull straight down. And as you pull, the paint is going to follow through. And very similar to a lily, in my opinion. <laughs> in my opinion, it looks like a lily. Okay, so I like that color. That, was, that actually came out really nicely. Let's try this purple plum and pink. I think this is really going to be nice. Right, so we're gonna do the same fashion of this kind of back and forth loop. Lily. And now we're going to make it shorter to make this one short. And hopefully, if you're on this live watching, you've already purchased your paint. Um, your tickets to the marriage singles conference which is going to be on February 26 and if you check out my last video that's exactly the one we're going to be painting at the conference so definitely want you to participate if you want to join us <laughs> just a, a painting of lilies really fun painting and again God just wants us to be just like the flowers of the earth not dependent on anything else but him awesome all right. Well, y'all have a good night. Thank you for joining and listening to me. I appreciate it.